Okay, here we are with part three of the swing axle remove and install. Okay, once you get everything all cleaned up and ready to go, you're going to take a feeler gauge and you're going to have to check the clearance on your falcons. They should be from 001 to 0010. Now Scott's going to take a feeler gauge and he's going to check our clearance here. And everything looks good. Yep. So, so we're ready now. You're going to take the coupling off of the end. And you take your falcons loose. And then you're going to have to apply grease. Just a thin coat of grease so it'll act as a glue to hold them in there for you. Because they do get kind of slippery and kind of makes it hard to get in there. But if you use just a small amount of grease, it works pretty good. Put a coat on the axle too. Yeah. Get everything lubed up good. Okay, go ahead. Then you want to put it back in there. There's a hole under the bottom, so you can take your finger and kind of manipulate them a little bit. When you have it out like this, it's easy to do. Okay. Okay. Now you want to apply some grease to the outer point. Okay, we gotta make everything, make sure everything's lined up and all, ready to go back in. Alright, now that we have that in there, I'm gonna move it around and make sure everything is free. And by and doing that, you can look at the front shaft that goes into your, you know, uh, to your main shaft. Main shaft that goes into your. Oh, clutch this. Just make sure that it's turning it backwards and forwards by when you rotate the axle assembly. Okay, now I'm going to come in here and help Scott out. I'm going to put the thrust washer and <clears throat> and the seat clamp back in there. Again, you're going to lube all this stuff up. Get everything low. Yeah, right side down. On. A little little coat of grease on it. You got a shiny side, so that's the side that's gonna ride on it, on your coupling. So just make sure you put that in the right way. And it only goes in one way. Let me slide this over the shaft. There's a little hump. You can see the hump right there. <clears throat> and if you look down in there, it only goes in one way. And now you're going to take your C-clip and you have a shiny spot on one side and a stell on the other side so you know which way that that goes on. <clears throat> Put a little bit more lube in there so everything will slip in nice. Make sure you got you some good snap ring pliers. These work okay, but longer handles would be a lot better for it. And once you get this lined up in here, And once you get that in there, you want to just take a little hammer and <clears throat> tap it. Make sure your clamp is 
it's in there good, nice and secure. <clears throat> and you'll know. Okay, we got that part in there. That's good. Now we're gonna lube up. This. And we're going to put our, our little packing on here. That's the little plastic disc. When you take it apart, you'll, you'll see that. And your tube's going to ride on that. So make sure you put you some grease on there. Just so nothing's dry when it goes together. It'll all get wet as the transmission works but you just want to, don't want to have anything dry and it's also important too to make sure when you put the gaskets back on here on this cover that it, for the most part it takes two so gotta make sure you do that now at this point here we have to put the uh, two back on and and make sure you lube all this up good kind of looks like a trumpet sort of yeah do 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 and <laughs> yeah okay and I'm gonna slide our assembly back on Down onto here, and I'm going to hold this up. <clears throat> Put some more lubrication on here. Alright. Alright. And you put your ring on. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you need. Make sure you put your two washers for your correct spacing. And make sure you have free play in here. You can tell when you put your two washers on there. Not wash, but your gaskets. <clears throat> your little gaskets. Washers, but they're like gaskets, but it checks the tolerance for it. Because you don't want to have any type of bond. It should be free moving. And uh, put your wheel bearing back on. And, and that's pretty much it. And everything will uh, be pretty much good to go. So what do you think, Scott? That wasn't too bad? No, it wasn't too bad, but... You know, one thing I must tell you, you have to check your all when you fill it, make sure it's full. And that's one of the reasons why I'm having to go through this process is because I actually didn't check the oil in it. Um, and I wound up, you know, burning up the other transmission. So this was a costly experience. So please remember, always check your transmission oil level and you won't have to go through this like I did. But he's Scott and I'm the Rick Man and this has been your axle remove and install for the everyday guy that can do in his garage.